Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Virgo. This is going to be your bonus love reading. Down below, I will have the timestamp if you want to skip past my talking. The links for my Spotify, Apple Music, and Instagram will be down there, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I need at least 2-3 days to get them done after transactions, so I appreciate you for your patience. By the way, I sound like this because my allergies are kicking my ass today. Anyways, um, if these energies are not yours, these can be your partners or whoever's. Also, happy Mother's Day to all the great moms out there. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. Um, so what I'm seeing here is somebody wants to manifest something with you or you want to manifest something with somebody. I'm seeing relationships develop into a new level. To trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. This person looks at you, very tender-hearted, um, empathetic, patient, loving. That's how they're viewing you, okay? I'm seeing, um, you guys are looking like, um, you guys look really good together, too. Look at you. You guys look really good together. Like two peas in a pod. And I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing, so one of you guys might be very introverted here. Um, I'm seeing somebody who has to spend a lot of, um, who likes to spend a lot of time in their own energy here. Um, there might be self-employment here, but I'm definitely seeing somebody who spends a lot of time alone here. I'm also seeing somebody, um, yeah, it's like they have to recharge. Some, somebody might be an empath here. I'm seeing somebody who needs to recharge and just, um, it's like they got to be in their own energy. They can't, they can't be around everybody all the time here. So I'm seeing somebody take some time for themselves here. There's also like some self-love here and I'm seeing this is worrying somebody. Okay, so this is worrying somebody here, um, but this is just a temporary pause. These seeds were very well planted. Um, this worries somebody though because they want something meaningful, spiritual, and emotional here and it makes them go really up in their head. Yeah, it's like putting them up in their head here. Um, this is kind of stressing them out. But it's because of their past. They have dealt with a lot of past traumas in relationships. And I'm, I'm seeing a cycle of that ending for them. And I'm seeing a new cycle opening up for them. And this is a cycle of joy, contentment, and gratitude. The path towards enlightenment. I see you walking towards this person in much clearer waters, calmer waters. Um, but yeah, it's like they've dealt with some trauma in their past. Um, yeah, they, defi they definitely dealt with some traumas in their past. And... Um, This is a new cycle. This new cycle is going to bring um, a powerful revelation that is going to lead to change, a significant life event for you guys here, okay? And um, you're being asked to spread your wings and fly towards this person because you are ready. You have the resources. Um, you are ready. You have the resources, okay? You are healed. You are healed. Um, this, is, this is nothing that you can't handle, okay? And I'm seeing, yeah, so this person... Um, it could be you or this person, but I'm definitely seeing somebody being too cautious with their emotions here. Um, yeah, somebody is being too cautious with their emotions here, but I'm seeing slowly, um, a relationship is growing closer here. It's just slow. That's what I'm seeing. It's slow, and it's because of their, their past baggage. It slows it down. But I'm, I'm seeing it come together just slowly. And I'm seeing, um, yeah, okay, it's, that's actually cool. It's like, Somebody is being asked to take this leap of faith towards you, but it's like, or you are being asked to take a leap of faith towards them. Excuse me. Um, yeah, so you could be at being asked to take a leap of faith towards them or them towards you. I just see somebody um, being held back by their past traumas, okay? Because they're expecting chaos here. They're expecting to take this leap of faith and jump right into a volcano. But really, um, they take this leap of faith, you know, there's a lot of abundance here. Um, things look very good. Um, somebody is being asked to have patience at this time and make some long-term plans. This person um, is safe with you or you are very safe with this person. There's a lot of abundance here, okay? But I definitely see somebody very hesitant to take this leap of faith because, like I said, they're expecting to jump into a volcano here and a lot of them um loyalty is a thing here um but like i said they are safe this is this is protector vibes you know what i mean you're loyal here you're coming up as loyal i'm also seeing you guys um i'm also seeing you guys um have a lot of um it's like if, if whoever takes this leap of faith i just see a lot of opportunities opening up for you guys here um 
and I'm seeing, yeah, so I, this person, um, they definitely work a lot, um, oh, okay, that could be this person here, so, successful self-employment, so this person may work a lot from home, that's also why they spend a lot of quiet time alone, alone at home, um, but I'm definitely seeing, um, yeah, I'm seeing somebody who works a lot here, I'm seeing somebody who's um, trying to make time for those around them um, and deal with um, challenges in a kind and understanding manner. This person is looking at you very, um, like you you make a lot of money, you're a manifester, they look at you very sexy, they think you're very thoughtful, creative, warm and sensible, um, really nice energy. And I see you guys sending messages, so I definitely see you guys sending some messages here. Um, it's like you may work too, you may work a lot, and it's like this person is trying to, um, it's like they're trying to come at that with logic, and they're trying to, someone may have like a little bit of a codependency problem here, but I'm definitely seeing, um, I'm definitely seeing with work, um, yeah, you may work a lot, or the this other person may work a lot, but I'm definitely seeing somebody trying to not take that personal. Um, I'm seeing somebody to who's dealing with that in a kind and understanding manner, like, oh, you're tired, you're too tired to come out tonight? Okay, that's fine. Um, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't see somebody getting, like, really mad, making this a whole big deal, because um, it's like, I'm hearing, we're all adults here. We're all adults here. So, however that resonates for you guys, but I'm definitely seeing here... Um, yeah, I'm seeing messages being sent back and forth, so it's like, even though this person's working a lot, I do see you guys communicating, and, um, yeah, I see you guys communicating, I'm seeing this have, um, yeah, it's like, whoever this person is with the slight codependency problem, I'm seeing you have some structure and discipline for yourself, you're trying to think about this logically here, um, yeah, it's like, whoever you were dealing with in your past, um, it's like a trigger for you, so it's like, whoever you were dealing with in your past, um, you're kind of finally getting over this trigger here. It's like you're finally trusting somebody. And, um, yeah, you're finally trusting somebody. And, like I said, you're thinking about this logically because, um, th this is something that you do want. If you look, you know, he's looking over here. This is what he wants. So to get what he wants, he needs to come at this with logic, structure, discipline, and come at this sensibly. Um, because this is a contended and rewarding family life. Your emotional material needs are being met. Okay, and I'm definitely seeing that you see very clearly, um, clearly about this. Okay, you see very clearly about this situation. So I'm definitely picking up, um, yeah, I'm definitely picking up somebody, um, is just working a lot here. Yeah, somebody's working a lot here, but even though you guys are working a lot, could be both of you. I'm definitely seeing messages being sent, though, passionate messages being sent here. And like I said, you're thinking about this logically. You're thinking about this logically um, because you do want this person here. Um, and you want to have this Ten of Cups. You want this uh, contented, rewarding family life. You want this. Um, and you see clearly how to get this. So I find this very interesting. I find this very interesting. Um, yeah, I'm just really seeing somebody's past kind of hold them back. But I'm seeing you break through that um, towards the end, which is really interesting here. Yeah, I'm seeing you break through that towards the end. Um, so if there's a codependency, I am seeing um, you're trying to rely more on your logic here. You're not jumping to conclusions, which is really nice, really cool energy. Um, I'm curious to how this is going to play out. Um, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius, an Aries. You could be dealing with... Um, you could be dealing with a Cancer. You'd be dealing with um, Pisces. You'd be dealing with um, a Virgo. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn. Um, yeah, I'm seeing fire, a lot of fire here. So, okay, definitely have um, Aries, Pisces, Taurus, Aquarius. Cancer, Virgo, um, Scorpio, basically I just see like a lot of earth, I see a lot of fire, water, and um, 
I don't think we have any air here. Only that one Aquarius card. So, alright, that's it. Um, I hope that was good for you guys. I will catch you next week. And happy Mother's Day, okay? Bye.